In 2020, construction will begin on the first of Australia's future frigates, the most technologically advanced, potent and capable frigate ever delivered to the Australian Defence Force. Along with our Hobart-class destroyers, which are now entering service, the F-5000 will form the core of Navy surface task groups and operate as a highly capable anti-submarine warfare vessel. The F-5000 builds on the capability of the Hobart class, which is equipped with advanced sonar systems optimised for littoral warfare, internal torpedo tubes, and the Australian Navy's MH-60 Romeo, one of the most capable ASW helicopters in the world. The F-5000 will have an improved hydrodynamic hull, propeller optimisation and noise dampening technology. The ship also has the option of a second helicopter, or UAV. Our F-5000 has 48 vertical launch cells compared to 8 on Anzac. The missiles carried on board will provide area air defence with a range of over 150 kilometres. And the VLS cells have strike length capability to accommodate future missiles. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the boot of the Navantia. Navantia is, uh, uh, this is the first time uh, in uh, MSPO in Kielce and the reason is that uh, Frigate 100, F-100. Yeah. F-100 class. F-100 class. Yeah. So, can you please uh, tell us, uh, is that uh, a special version of F-100 class uh, Frigate you are going to offer for Miecznik program for Poland? Well, the, the version that we are going to present to the Miecznik class uh, uh, program is uh, evolved version of the 100 class ship that as you know we have already sell that ship to the Spanish Navy and to the Australian Navy and also a version of that to the Norwegian Navy so what we are offering is a version of the 100 class adapted to the uh, Polish requirement that can, I can advance that already fulfills more than 90 percent of the requirements so the version will slightly evolve from the version that we have already in Australia and in Spain. So this is the Spanish and Australian version, much more to the Polish project you are offering to Poland. So, so always we as designer, we always leverage on, on our experience in Spain, Australia and Norway. So we will apply all the lesson lands in Australia, Spain and Norway in order to put them to, to the Polish Navy. So you will have the last version of the ship and the most advanced version of the frigate. Yeah. And most important, uh, uh, next year, that will be evaluation of the three projects. You are in, among the, the group of three frigate uh, providers for Poland. And uh, did you already uh, obtain at something like a good uh, relation with the Polish sh shipyard companies? And how is the way, if you win, if you win, how is the way you are going to build that ships in Poland? Well, here the, the, the key thing is that we are not just offering a frigate project. We, we are offering a solid partnership to, to the Polish government and the, to the Polish authority, Polish Navy, and also Polish uh, shipyard and Polish suppliers. So, so this is an ecosystem. Uh, we, we come from a country that 40 years ago didn't know how to design and build ships. So, so we are leveraging on, leveraging on our own experience in building that capability. So, so our proposal is a solid partnership that we will transfer a significant key aspect of to build a program, uh, to build a ship like uh, program management, uh, design capabilities, something very similar to what we already did in Australia. So Australia wanted to build their own ships and they built their own ships in Australia from a greenfield. There was no ship here. So we helped them to, to build the ship. We helped them to design the ship. We helped them to to build the ships in Australia and we have been to deliver in the ship. And right now the Australian frigates are the most advanced uh, frigates in the world and they are already operative. So what we are offering is a solid and robust partnership in different levels and different areas. So, so le leverage from our own experience. We trust you that you have a great experience in cooperation of local producers. Yeah. What about the providers of the systems? I mean, uh, uh, missile system and the combat system. So do you... Do you believe that uh, that is possible to include in that project a lot of Polish systems? Well, I think that uh, we we are 
agnostic, let's say, uh, on, on that field in the sense that, uh, and that is good because we will put whatever the police uh, authorities request us into the ship. So it depends from, from the point of view and the view of the Polish authorities. Yes, so we are not imposing any system in the ship, so whatever the police authorities believe that is best for the project, we will be able to integrate because don't forget that in Avantia we are not just, we are a combat system integrator, so we can put Uh, the Spanish combat system. Eh? We can also put the US combat system because we are have the experience of doing that in Australia and also in Spain when we started this path of transferring all technologies. But for example, we have experience with other combat system integrator as Thales. So, so let's say that our Saudi Corvette has the, the, the Thales combat system. So we are agnostic. We can put whatever the police authorities request. Including Polish not so combat, but uh, maritime systems yeah, as well. Is, yes, if, if it fulfills the specifications that are required for the ship, because at the end of the day you have to deliver a system, uh, be sure that they will be part of the project. And when we are talking about the shipyard, there are the two shipyards in the, in the Mieczny group, uh, Stocznia Wojenna, or the mi military shi shipyard, or the uh, combat shipyard, and also the uh, Remontowa. Mm. So uh, which one uh, which one you obtained at the, the good relations with, with or with the both? Well, we, we have good relation with both, but right now, as you know, PGZ is the one that is managing all this uh, uh, relationship with the, with the designers of the ship. So we are right now working with the government and we will do whatever the government tell us to do. Okay, so, so that is what we will do. But the good relation is good. It's not just in defense. We are also working in other domains, greenfields and all so on. So, so that is when I talk about partnership, it's not just the partnership of Navantia. It's, it's, as you know, Navantia is a government-owned company. So it's also behind us. It's, it's you know, different areas and fields that are supported by the Spanish government too. And the last question, do you think that the Navantia should be much more known in Poland between the, uh, the people who are in the decision makers and uh, the people who are in Polish uh, shipyard industry? Because you are Spanish, but normally we are looking into the German project or the other, let's say, project, British, German, but you should be much more known in Poland. Well, we, we, we should and we will, I hope. So, so we will work hard in order to to pass the message uh, that I have already told you. So, so, so we're going to work hard in making Avantia to have a good name in, in Poland. Uh, but at the end of the day, in the shipbuilding domain, I think that Navantia already has a name. Uh, we are shipbuilders. Uh, we always say shipbuilding is our, in our blood. So we have 300 years of history. So, so I think that Navantia already has a name, but it's true that we need to work harder in order to, to pass a, our experience, capabilities and capacity to the uh, Poland authorities and the Polish people to understand that we already have a very good case for, the, uh, for Poland in the shipbuilding. Okay. I wish you success in the Polish grant because the Polish, uh, Polish people and the Spanish people are in great friendship. So it's, uh, I think, the good prospect for the future cooperation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you very much. Bye-bye.